So the the club have released the the uh, who's staying and who's going for the coming season. Now we've got a bit of clarity. We've got uh, assistant manager John McCoom to join me. Hello, John. Hello. You all right? Yeah, good. Um, so a lot of players, a lot of the squad from last season staying. Most notably, you've got um, Liam Tong and Jordan Fabola staying, which is good news. Yeah, great news. Uh, we've managed to keep the majority of the squad that we had last year. Um, and yeah, like you said, they're keeping Jordan and Tong. It's been two of the bit, two of the big signings for us again this season. Who've um, had a lot of offers from other clubs, better financial offers. But yeah, it's pleasing that that they want to stay with us, uh, knowing that it's a good club and a club where they're improving each year. Yeah, that must again that must be a big factor because we had that with with Yanni and Kingsley. You know, they'd had offers from better clubs and. Certainly financially, and the fact that he they chosen to come in, and a lot of the players are staying here, is, is good for yourselves and the club, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we're trying to build. We're trying to build a club that um, improves players and does gets a um, reputation for doing things in the in the right way. And I think that's what we've done over the last year or two two years. Um, so yeah, it's great that the lads want to stay at Hyde, want a bit of a club that, like I said, do things properly and and, and are moving in the right direction. Um, yeah, it's great to have all. All the lads tied down, uh, like the key players from last year, like your Brad Roscoe's, Tom Dean, Carl Brownell. Um, obviously, Pratt is still with us. Chris Sutherland. Um, yeah, obviously, Odgy's back with us as well. Mm-hmm. Also got Joel Logan and Harry Benz coming back, who, who missed a lot of, through injury last season. Um, they're still out for the next couple of months, but hopefully we can m- manage to get them fit and, and back playing in the next two or three months. Yeah, obviously, like you say, you've kept, you've kept faith with players like Chris Sutherland, who's been injured. Joel, Joel's had his, his operation now, I believe, hasn't he? So, um, hopefully, looking looking forward to it. And, and like you say, with Harry Benz as well, they can show what they do. Yeah, definitely. The, the players have got lots of ability and great attitudes and fitting perfectly to, to what we want in the players. Uh, unfortunately, they have had injuries over the, the past season. But, yeah. We try and stick by them as much as we can and try and help them with their rehab. Um, we've got Jake, Jake Cunning, the physio, who's a great physio at this level and he works really well with the players and someone that he gets them back fit as, as soon as possible. Yeah, and um, at the minute you've got players who, you've got a couple of players who are deciding on, on offers. That's Chris Sharp and, and Paddy Lane. Just tell us a bit more about that. Yeah, um, obviously Paddy. Paddy had another great season last year. Um, got a few clubs watching him. Uh, we've offered him a contract. Um, he's just debating whether he's going to sign that contract or not. Um, we're obviously in constant dialogue with him. And we're, there's also three or four clubs that are, are looking at trying to sign him. So we're in dialogue with those as well and his agent just to keep updating the situation. So, yeah, hopefully that'll get sorted in the next um, few weeks. But, yeah, we're hopeful that he'll either be with us next season or a, a club will come and take him. Yeah, and if they do, of uh, course, the club, the, club, the club will probably benefit financially as well from that, even if Paddy does go. If he stays, great, but if he goes, the club will benefit financially, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, he's uh, under under 24 and he's uh, under con- well, um, been offered a new contract for next season. So, yeah, that covers on that side of it. So, yeah, he'll be uh, either, um, he'll stay with us next season or he'll we'll agree with, Fierce, with someone else or he'll go to a, a tribunal, yeah, so... Uh, also, also, like I mentioned before, Sharpie as well is a bit undecided at the moment. He, want, he wants to stay. Um, he's just got work commitments next year that might be slightly different to what he's had this year. So we're just waiting for him to, to work through them. But oh, hopefully he'll stay because his experience on and off the pitch has been invaluable since he came in. And I thought he had a big impact on the team last season. Yeah, and obviously the new signings, we, we've, we've spoken to them already. Yanni and, and Kingsley have come in. Uh, Kingsley, in particular, somebody that you know really well, and, and Yanni, you've you've had playing in front of you, the, not last season, the season before. Yeah, definitely. I've known Kings quite a long time. I've played with them at uh, three different clubs: Port Vale, Macclesfield, and Chester. So, yeah, I've known Kingsley a long time, and getting him into a to our club at this time is a, a perfect signing. Um, yeah, he's a good player. Like I said before, same as Sharpie, good on and off the pitch, and he's someone that will will bring a lot to the club next season. Um, also playing. Playing behind Yanni for a year. Yanni's a perfect player in midfield in this league. Um, 
he's done it sort of for a few years now. Obviously had a year out, but yeah, it's great to have him back and I think they'll have a, a big impact again next season. And there's just two players who, who uh, aren't staying. Ash Young, TY's kind of touched on that already. I think he's got a good job in China. And, and Lloyd Allenson, which is quite a surprise. Just tell us about those. Yeah, I was disappointed um, to lose both of them because I thought they both came in at the back end of last season and they were great. Um, really steady bit for us when they came in. Yeah, Ash got offered a, a job out in China and he was supposed to be leaving come the end of the season, but he got moved back. But yeah, I think he's going out to China in August. So he won't be staying. And then, uh, yeah, we offered Lloyd a new deal for next season. But at this moment in time, he's, he's turned it down uh, just to look at other offers. So, yeah, like we said, Lloyd did really, really well for us. Um, so we'll, we might have to revisit that at some stage if, if it's things that work out for him. But, yeah, we'll see what happens. And I know, uh, I believe, uh, from speaking to Yanni the other day, that, that training could well be happening in the next couple of weeks as well. Yeah, we're, we're due to start back on Tuesday, 30th of June. Um, spoke to all the lads and they, they can't wait to get back. And me, the gaffer, Chris, Gaz, Jake, we can't can't wait as well, to be honest. It's, it's been a long time coming. Um, when we do start back, training is going to look a little bit different to what to what we're used to, working in small groups. Um, but yeah, we've been planning sessions towards that. And yeah, like I said, we're, we're looking forward to it. I mean, do you have any inkling when the season might start? I mean, I believe the Premier League could well start in August or September time. Do, do you think we could look at something like that for, for the Northern Premier Division? Yeah, at the moment, there's, I know, know the league are looking at three or four different options that might come into play and they're trying to put, put stuff in place for all of those. So, yeah, we're not certain at the minute. And, yeah, we're just going to start back at the end of June and just see what happens with the updates. I think sort of weekly or every two weeks will be more updates. And, Hopefully, in the next three or four weeks, we might have a, a clearer picture when we're starting back. I noticed you've made the retain list as well, John, haven't you? Which is quite pleasing. And you're staying on as assistant manager. Yeah, definitely. I don't think I could find anything <laughs> else to the list. But yeah, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking forward to coming back because of the coaching. And I enjoyed playing at the back end of last season as well. So I've been keeping really fit over this time we've had off. And, Hopefully I'll be uh, ready if needed. Brilliant. Well, John, uh, thanks for joining us and, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Thanks, Luke.